Hello there. So Diane Abbott backs Russian troops being massed on the borders of the Ukraine and calls NATO the aggressor. Speaking to the Stop the War Coalition yesterday, Labour MP Diane Abbott laid the blame for tensions over the Ukraine at the feet of NATO. We see that the United States has decided that it needs to send US and other NATO troops to Russia's borders, she said. This alone should tell us that the claims that Russia is the aggressor should be treated sceptically. Now I know there is a school of thought that says that if NATO pulled back then Russia would play nice. That NATO should promise not to go further east to allow Russia to have its buffer zone. But the problem is that Russia is not playing nice, so those buffer zone countries end up wanting to join NATO for protection, so increasing NATO's presence instead of decreasing it. And I will remind everyone that NATO did pull back. It was called the peace dividend at the end of the Cold War, after the fall of the old USSR and the pulling down of the Berlin Wall. The West especially the UK, scaled back massively on its defence spending. We brought troops, tanks and helicopters back from Germany, made our service personnel redundant on an industrial scale because we had nowhere to put them, shut down most of our military training, amalgamated regiments and mothballed or scrapped most of our fleet of warships and submarines. And far from reducing public expenditure, our national debt has rocketed. So much for that peace dividend. And now Vladimir Putin, the Russian leader, has stepped into that political and defence vacuum. While we've been winding down, he's been winding up. In 2014, for example, he took his troops in to take the Crimea. And we did nothing, so emboldening Moscow. The real problem is that NATO did not maintain a strong enough presence in Europe. If the likes of Diane Abbott got her way, Putin would be free to roam the rest of Europe soaking up territory at will. And the reason that NATO is responding now is because if we stand by as Russia takes full control of the Ukraine, he might get wider expansionist ideas. And he's already got 100 to 130,000 troops to the east of Ukraine, 30 odd thousand to the north conducting exercises in Belarus, a considerable force to the south in the Crimea, and four amphibious troop ships loaded with hardware and personnel ready in the Black Sea to take out Ukraine's ports. Listening to Diane Abbott talking about finding peaceful solutions, you'd think she didn't realise that it's Russia on the warpath against the sovereign country of Ukraine, not the West. And that 100 plus thousand Russian troops is a lot of troops. She should also know that NATO is now bolstering its forces in Europe purely to defend NATO member countries, not to go into Ukraine and fight the Russians. The only way NATO troops would end up fighting is if Russia attacks a NATO country and Ukraine is not in NATO. Further, the UK is not threatening war if Russia invades Ukraine. The UK is threatening trade and financial sanctions against the state of Russia and its main players if it does so. So what we've got is a belligerent Putin readying his army to take out Ukraine on the borders of NATO countries and he's surprised that NATO troops start arriving. By doing this, Putin is almost guaranteeing more NATO presence in the area, when his aim is to reduce it, to leave him free to do what he wants in Europe. And Putin's actions only lead to more European countries like Ukraine looking to join NATO. We've now got a nervous Finland and Sweden thinking about it. Anyway, what Ms Abbott needs to hoist in is that if NATO troops were to now withdraw from the area... Putin would be inside Kiev like a rat up a drainpipe. So what's your opinion on Diane Abbott taking Russia's side? Please like 
and comment below. Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal and thank you for watching.